Hey guys, so I just woke up and I wanted to do, what is it? Like a face routine, like a, what is, what is it called? Like a daily skincare routine. I wanted to do a daily skincare routine for you guys because I've been taking a lot better care of my skin recently. I've invested in some more expensive, but also all natural products that, I mean, I have faith are only doing wonders for my skin. And I mean, I can see it like, well, I mean, you guys see me wearing makeup a lot of the time. So like my skin probably doesn't look that amazing to you, but I've struggled with acne for for many years, like my entire teenage, adulthood, childhood. I remember I got my first pimple when I was in fourth grade and I remember hearing my fourth grade teacher like talk about it to my parents at the child, what was it? The teacher, teacher parent conference day. I was like sitting in the other room and I heard my teacher, Mr. Moylan, he was like making fun of me. He was like, oh my God, yeah. Like I remember the day your son came in with like a giant red pimple right on his nose. He was like calling me Rudolph. Okay, now we're outside. I had to go outside because my roommate Brianna's sleeping and she literally texted me telling me, please be quiet. I was like, okay, excuse me because before I've literally not filmed when I feel like I look like such a little boy with my curls. Um, my blonde curly hair though. I'm thinking about changing my hairstyle. I feel crazy vlogging in Chicago cause like no one does this. Brianna always tells me it's okay for me to film while she's sleeping because before I've tried to film videos and then she's like asleep and I'm texting her and I'm like okay just like let me know when you're awake she literally is like don't use me as an excuse Nathan like you're literally only just like not wanting to film YouTube videos like I'm not the reason like you can film she told me you can film anytime I'm sleeping like I won't wake up it'll be fine and I warned her I'm like I have a loud voice, like I'm gonna wake you up. Long story short, now I have to film this YouTube video outside, but it's fine because I was about to go outside anyway and get my favorite Starbucks drink. It has two shots of espresso in it and I need it because I was just not feeling very awake today. I don't know, it was just like really hard to get up. I was really sleepy and I just had like no energy. So I'm about to be energetic soon. Oh, pumpkin though. Oh, I thought like, just heard whispers but yesterday it was so pretty because it snowed it snowed on halloween and it like caused all the leaves to fall and then the next day in the morning it was just like gorgeous and i like filmed some videos of what it looked like i'm gonna put it in right now i don't usually vlog anymore but i kind of want to just because my neighborhood is so beautiful right now it's november 1st yesterday was halloween and it snowed and like look What? Like, where do I live? Is this like a fantasy world? Like, I don't, I don't reckon, oh, not on the sidewalk, here I am. I don't even recognize where I am. Like, this isn't Lincoln Park. <gasps> OMG. I don't know if you guys can see like all this shit raining from the sky. Like, can you? It's just so gorgeous. From the sky. Wow, Chicago can be beautiful. Oh my god. Guys, I just realized I have to make like a really difficult decision here and I'm basically at Starbucks, but it's cold outside. So I'm like, shit, I should get a warm drink. And the drink I was gonna get, my favorite drink, it's a cold drink. I don't know. Fuck, should I get it iced or not? I literally don't know. I might get it iced, just cause I feel like it's better that way. All right, we'll see. Mmm. <laughs> wow, they made this really good. Mmm. Mm. There's literally a wedding. She's getting married. I'm sorry about my hair, by the way. It doesn't look as bad. It's like the lighting, like when I hold... I have to just get used to vlogging because like, I never do it. Like I honestly don't really, I'm not like a pro vlogger, but I want to be because I like watching vlogs and I feel like my vlogs are the most interesting, you know? <gasps> Oh my god, I think I just figured it out, guys. Because I've been thinking of like a lot of videos that I want to film in my bathroom, or just like certain ideas, even this one especially. Oh, this isn't, you can see this little knob. 
Oh, well, we'll work it out, but I can film in my bathroom now and my mirror is right here so like I can look into it. This is perfect for like a shower routine. I'm gonna do my daily face routine for you, but my first step is I have to take a shower. I know I need a shower because my hair, you can tell it's just like clumpy and oily, like needs to be cleaned, it's really dirty, so. Better like the, just the natural. I feel like if we open the blinds, oh. If we open the blinds, I don't know. We can play with it. I wanted to film like, the Starbucks area and me like picking up my drink and being like thanks sir and like walking out but there were just so many people people were in my way people were like pushing and shoving so I just had to get my drink and get out yeah I got the iced even though it is really cold outside I was just like I don't I mean I want my drink to taste good yeah this is a venti iced chai tea latte with coconut milk and then two shots of espresso and you don't need the espresso obviously like that's the, it's a drink without it itself but I think the espresso adds a lot, it like wakes you up, and it adds that coffee flavor because I don't drink coffee, I only really drink tea, and so putting espresso in here, like it brings back the high school memories of drinking coffee and how coffee tasted like, and like it's, it's so good, I mean, oh my god, I just, every time I drink Starbucks, I feel like I'm satisfying an addiction I didn't realize I had, like, <sighs> And you can get it with almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, um, dairy milk. Oh, my roommate's awake now. So I don't have to be as quiet. I was literally like in the bathroom. I'm so far away from her in the house and I was still scared about being too loud. She just texted me she's awake though, so. She's not used to living with a YouTuber anymore. When she first met me, I was YouTubing all the time. Like she met me when I was in high school and we were making videos all the time, but now, as you guys know, I don't post, but I'm trying to. I'm getting back into it. Hopefully soon I'll be like a little attention whore again and like whoring myself out for views, dancing in my underwear. I'm like remembering why I fell in love with the camera just because like, I don't know, you can do whatever. I have unlimited time to do whatever. I can cut whatever out. Just like it. Okay. Um, I have to go to Home Goods now because I realized I have no clean towels and I have this really bad habit when I run out of things. I just hate doing laundry so I go and buy more. I mean, I don't do that a lot. It's just like sometimes. And my towels, a lot of my... T Can you guys even hear me? There's like a man blowing leaves. My towels are like old and ratty and they're like towels I stole from my dad's house and the towels that you get at my dad's house are just not the highest of quality. So I'm buying my own and I'm hoping Home Goods has good ones. I didn't even know where to buy bath towels because the last time I bought bath towels was at Target, but my Target is so far away. I'm not trying to call an Uber to go buy bath towels just to take a shower. So I have to walk somewhere. So I just went into like Google and typed in bath towels. Home Goods came up and there's one like really close. So I'm on my way. I'll vlog in there. Maybe I'll pick up a couple things to a little Home Goods haul, but we'll see. Oh, that's actually way cuter. It's like boy on his adventure, boy in the fall, boy with a hat in the fall. That's me. I'm like getting used to this vlogging thing. It's kind of like <sighs> freeing. It's like, yeah, bitch, I'm holding a camera. Look at me. You want to be filmed? I'll put you on. I'm a little hyped up now. I'm kind of crazy. I woke up like kind of being manic, which is good because I was in this depressive phase for like almost a whole week. It wasn't that long, but it was starting to get bad. Yesterday, I actually had an appointment with my therapist, so... Oh, I'm getting really accustomed to the cold weather because I'm a person who is so cold all the time. I love summer. Like, getting into a car that's been sitting in the sun in, like, 90-degree weather, that's my favorite. Like, it's just so warm. Ugh, just the warm air. I feel like I'm being covered in a blanket of warmth. It's so nice. Ooh, spooky, though. Where is this home goods though? I love this street though. Like there's no one on this street so I can just scream into my camera. Yeah. Also guys, I don't know what to do with my hair because like I'm kind of getting tired of this hairstyle with just growing it out and pushing it behind my head. I kind of want to do something shorter. Also, it's annoying with my roots. Also, the blonde hair color is annoying because it just is so damaged and my hair isn't soft and luscious like it used to be. It's all like, it's how it used to be when I dyed my hair. Like it's coarse and it has split ends. It's just not high quality hair anymore. It's like horse hair, boar hair. It's like you can make a makeup brush out of my hair or straw for Halloween. 
It's the same color too, straw though. Oh, Noodles and Company though. Guys, I don't understand why they do this. Noodles and Company and a Chipotle directly next to each other. Like when I go here just for Chipotle or just for noodles. Left with both options. Like I come seeking out one. Like, I'm like, oh, Chipotle sounds really good. I'm gonna walk over there and get some. And then I get there and I see the noodles and it just makes me question everything. And now I'm like, am I hungry? No. I have bath towels to get. I'm good though. Just got out. This huge ass bag though. Let's see if I can lug it home. Oh my god. I like just kind of had to film this because I'm walking and on the floor of the street it says pickle. I mean it's spelled wrong. Also like what is the arrow though? Oh! Oh, I thought someone was behind me. I love the protein bar and kitchen. I wonder, do they sell pickles there? Anyway, in sixth grade, my nickname was Pickle. Everyone called me Pickle. Every single person in all my classes called me Pickle. Like, genuinely, if you ask someone that went to my middle school and knew me, like, they only knew me as Pickle. Like, people didn't call me Nathan. My teachers called me Pickle. Anyway, my teachers would call me Pickle. And then I remember, like, we would try to tell substitute teachers, like, Yo, his name's Pickle. Like, everyone would be like, call him Pickle. Like, don't call him Nathan. Yeah, just like a little tidbit about me. If you didn't know, nickname used to be Pickle. Hey guys, so I just got back home from Home Goods and I'm about to take a shower so that I can show you guys my face routine. The first thing I need to do is I need to brush my hair because I have curly hair. I like my hair to be very silky smooth. So I like to be able to run my fingers through it like whenever I want. So I don't like there to be any knots in it. And since I was sleeping on it, there's a ton of knots in it, like my hair gets so raggedy. So I brush it out when it's dry before I shower, um, as opposed to when it's wet afterwards or in the shower. My sister has the same curly hair and she brushes her hair with a hairbrush like in the shower while it's wet. I don't know how she does that. And her hair is rather damaged, so I think that's why I like... Because the hair breaks when it's wet. I don't- I might be wrong, but I think so. But I know you're supposed to brush it when it's dry, so I just brush it through. Make sure she's all good. When you're starting out, you want to start from the bottoms. And then work your way up. Just so that you break as little hairs as possible. Oh, I just heard some. I went to Home Goods, and despite the bag being, like, enormous, I literally only bought three things. Um, obviously I got bath towels because in my defense though, I'm not the most lazy boy ever on earth for doing this instead of washing my towels. Let me just tell you how difficult it is for me to do my laundry where I live. I have to walk down. The door is actually right over here, but I have to walk down like four flights of stairs into this dusty, dingy, scary, dark basement. Multiple times I've run into the maintenance man down there and he is just very unnerving. It cost me four dollars and quarters to do my laundry, which like I didn't think would be such a big deal in the beginning, but it honestly is like I go through quarters fast now and I at first was like, oh, it's fine. Like I always have change. Like I'm I collect all my change, like I never just like get rid of it or throw it out. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if people throw out their change, but I always hold on to it. So I had hella quarters when I moved in here. Now they're all gone. Um, it used to be bad though. It used to cost five dollars and quarters to do one load of laundry. Now it's just four dollars and quarters. But I got hand soap, foaming hand soap, because I love foaming hand soap. And I mean, you're always running out of soap. And then I got maple syrup because I ran out of maple syrup today. I like to, I eat like these veggie sausages and I put maple syrup on them just because like back when I wasn't vegan, I loved maple syrup on my sausages. I don't know, something about like the smoky, the smoky flavor with the sweet flavor. I just really like it. So I ran out of maple syrup and had to get more. They had it at Whole Foods, or not Whole Foods, I keep saying Whole Foods, Home Goods. It was really good. But yeah, such a big bag though. We're just gonna- Oh! Oh, and there's four towels! I thought there was just three in here! That is so nice. Okay. I don't know where to put these. Please, I just don't know- Ooh, these are soft. I like it. But okay, time to shower and I'll be right back. If you guys want to see an in-depth shower routine or have any other recommendations for videos I could do either in or out of the bathroom, just let me know and I'll consider them. Because my viewers' opinions mean a lot to me. Okay guys, so I'm fresh out of the shower and this is actually a step that is like probably more part of my shower routine because I always do this in the shower. 
But I wanted to show you because it's like technically a facial thing, so and I don't think most people do this in the shower, but it's the first step in your face routine, skincare routine. And that's a cleanser to wash your face. So I haven't washed my face yet. I've washed every other inch of my body, including my hair. But I guess this could actually, I could turn this into like an after shower routine. So I have a towel right here. This is gonna be to wash my face or to dry my face. Okay. So first we start off by wetting the face. My face is already wet, but I mean, we could do better than that. So now your face is wet, so I just take a little bit because this stuff is honestly expensive and it is all natural. There's no bad things in there for your skin. There's nothing unnatural. There's nothing non-vegan, nothing from an animal. No animals were harmed in the making of this skincare. I massage it in like circular motions around the face. I get my forehead, the temples. This could also just be like you know, a moment of your day that you take for yourself and focus on your self-care. Massage the face. I know massaging the face is really good for like getting optimal blood flow. You can rub it in your eyes. It doesn't sting because it's vegan. All right, and I get my neck too. And I get my cheeks a lot because I have acne on my cheeks. And then just rinse it off of your hands. You pat dry, do not rub. You're trying to keep it youthful. And then pat dry the rest, cause I mean, washing your face can get messy. That's why I do it in the shower actually, is cause it's like a pretty, it's like the messiest thing you can do to like clean your face. Next, I'm going to be using a toner. So my favorite toner, this is actually the only toner I've ever tried and I love it. I love the smell of it. I feel like it cleans my skin perfectly. I just, I fell in love with it. It was like my first one I tried and I loved it. So it is the Sanray Lemon Sparkle. Can you see that? Yes, um, lemon and chamomile revitalizing facial toner for combination oily or problem skin types. And I honestly have normal skin. It's not oily or dry that much. I mean, if anything, it's closer to dry, but combination works, problem skin works to describe my skin. But I just spray it a couple times. I shake it a little. And then here. You just do this. To what a toner actually does, I'm not sure. I know it like, I mean, it tones your skin, right? So it probably like balances the pH balance of your skin. I feel like it just helps, just cause from what I see, there's always like just a little bit left on the pad. I feel like toners help get that extra, especially if you wear makeup or if you fake tan, which sometimes I do. It really helps get that like extra layer of shit off your skin. We are now done with her. Oh, okay. I just had to put my hair up, sorry. Then we're gonna wanna hydrate the skin because all that cleansing, all that toning has really stripped the skin of everything it has and we need to give it, give it some oil back, give it some help. So I have this Baby Face Anti-Acne Serum Booster. It is clarifying and balancing treatment. I love it because I know what all the ingredients are. That's how I know like I can trust the skincare is if I read the ingredients and I know what they all are. So this just has grapeseed oil, cranberry seed oil, pomegranate seed oil, baobab seed oil? I don't, I guess I don't know what that is. Beetroot extract, sunflower seed oil, and they're all organic. This is literally falling off my head, but oh well. Um, I know a lot of people use moisturizer and I used to use moisturizer just religiously because as I said my skin can be on the dry side but I recently discovered that oils are the way to go for me and you would be scared of oil especially if you have oily skin you're probably like um Nathan like I cannot be smearing oil on my face but it just it, you need to be smearing the right types of oil your skin does not make the right type of oil truly organic makes the right type of oil for your skin. So I lather that on mm, mm, and it is just so hydrating. Now on really cold and really dry days, I'll like double up. I'll use an actual moisturizer. This is Lux Lotion Vanilla. It's vegan, no glycerin, no alcohol, no parabens, no petroleum. It's nut free, a non-greasy formula and all natural sun protection. Um, I also have this little dropper by the same brand. I've used it last, but I got it because it's it's called the Downtown Defender, and it's an anti-pollution booster. It has UV protection, 
It's an antioxidant serum, has vitamin B. I live in a city, it said downtown Defender, anti-pollution. I was like, Chicago's probably the most polluted city out there, so I need it. Then next, I'm gonna be finishing off with an eye cream. I especially love doing this in the morning if I barely got sleep because it like helps with my eye bags. It like helps calm them down. And just the number one thing to taking care of your eyes and making sure you don't get wrinkles and crow's feet is to just keep them hydrated. So even if you're not just using the most expensive bougie eye cream like it doesn't need to be all this anti-aging shit as long as it's something that's moisturizing it'll do wonders to protecting protecting your eye bags oh <gasps> no oh my god i forgot like one of the most important parts of my skin routine which is this face mask i wanted to do a face mask oh my god i can't because this is usually the first step i usually do this right after washing my face so you would cleanse, and then you would do this. This is, I mean, it's made by the same brand that makes these little droppers, Truly Organic, I think is the brand. But it's a vitamin C jelly face mask. It has aloe, turmeric, beta carotene, and lemon for brightening. And it definitely does brighten the skin, or at least, like, I notice when I use this, it, like, evens out the complexion of my skin, so it's not as discolored. Just look inside. It's, like, this jelly formula. It's honestly, it's, like, orange jello, or, like, hair gel or something. And you just put it on your face, wait, like, seven to ten minutes and you have beautiful glowing skin so i love this i should have used it today i always forget to use it honestly it's like it's so hard for me to remember to use a oh. i got an intense text guys i had to read that it's hard for me to remember to put on a face mask i don't know it's just not the first thing i'm thinking of oh my god my face is so it's like dripping in oils but i love it that way i love my skin to be as moisturized as possible now, for after the shower for my body, I always use just like a coconut oil or jojoba oil, argan oil, castor oil even. Like any type of cold pressed organic oil basically is what I use for my skin. And sometimes I'll put some of that in my hair after I get out of the shower because my hair can be dry since it's bleached. Um, but today, I'm going to be using something different. I've only tried this twice, but I got this at Whole Foods. It's curl supreme basically just like a styling cream i think or like hydrating cream and it helps it helps your curls so if you have curly hair it helps pronounce them looks like that so i just take you know honestly like literally that much not even that much and i just rub it on my fingers and i just finger it through the hair and then maybe we'll get a little more just for the back side because i've been embracing my natural curls for old time youtube watchers of nathan's channel you guys will know i always straighten my hair like since the beginning of time on this channel i've straightened my hair i used to have the beaver swipe when i had my hair like this i was straightening it i've straightened it all the time but i'm done straightening my hair i don't need that anymore and not straightening it all the time really keeps it healthy so i'm living anyway i'm about to go rub a bunch of oil all over my naked body to keep it moisturized since it is cold and it is approaching winter here in chicago but if you guys would like to see more videos by me make sure to give a thumbs up and leave some comments of what type of videos you would like me to do i'm trying to be your favorite twink here on youtube again so bear with me I'm just getting used to this whole YouTube thing again, but I think I'm doing it well. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video, and make sure to comment something. I just love reading you guys' comments, even if it's something mean. Like, if you have something shady to say, critique to say, something to comment about how sad my life is, tell me. Like, I thrive on all attention, good or bad. I'm just one of those people, so make sure to give me some. Love you guys as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.